<coughs> my gosh, <coughs> coughing like a coughing like a vampire. Right, because vampires aren't coffins. Dumb, dumb, stupid. Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz, and this is Ascension Presents. Um, so I know that a lot of us, a lot of people, struggle with procrastination. And, and when I say procrastination, you probably know what I know is that procrastination does not mean I'm doing nothing. Procrastination doesn't mean I'm doing nothing. Procrastination means I'm doing everything except for the one thing I'm supposed to be doing, doesn't it? Like, right, that's it. If that's you, then you are struggling with something that's bigger than simple procrastination. You're struggling with something that virtually every Christian has struggled with, all the way back to the time of Jesus and from then on. In the early church, so actually maybe 300 years after Christ, um, in the early church, you had some people, when, when Christianity became like the religion of the Roman Empire, you had some people who like went, were, were called to enter into the wilderness, literally who go into the desert and live a little hut. They were hermits and they just devoted their lives to penance. They devoted, devoted their lives to prayer. And those desert fathers and mothers, they call them desert father, fathers and mothers, they were the place, it, they discovered what they originally termed like the seven deadly sins, right? So you have gluttony and you have lust and you have anger and you have greed, all these kinds of things, like the seven deadly sins. The desert fathers and mothers, would say that you know, in the course of your Christian life, in the course of being out, in the, out there in the desert, virtually you know, everyone's gonna experience some of the deadly sins, but there was one of the deadly sins, one of those things that comes against every person that came against every one of them. And that was what they called acedia, A-C-E-D-I-A, acedia. And later on, St. Thomas Aquinas called it sloth or sloth. They called it the noonday devil. Why would they call it the noonday devil? Imagine living in a hut in the desert. So you get up in the morning and you do your morning routine at the cool of the morning, it's nice out, but all of a sudden at 10 o'clock or so, the sun's right above and from roughly 10 o'clock until two o'clock, it seems like the sun's not moving, the cool of the morning has passed and the night's not here yet where you get to have your meal and you get to kind of relax. It's just stay in your hut and pray. And it seems like nothing's changing and nothing's happening. This is essentially the, I mean, if you really want to get down to it, this is uh, a microcosm of a midlife crisis. I mean, think about if you're, if you're in your midlife, what happens? The, the eagerness, the excitement, the, the, all the anticipation, the hope, the promise of youth is gone. And yet the rest and the fruits and like that ability to kind of enter into a certain kind of like sage stage in your life is not yet here. But I'm right in the middle of this and I just want a different life than the life I have right now. This is the deadly sin so many people come against in their midlife. It's the noonday devil, acedia. Now, when St. Thomas Aquinas started calling it sloth, what happened was people would say, oh, sloth is kind of a slowness to respond to the things of God, right? So I'm called to pray and I don't really want to do it. Or I'm called to enter into God's joy of just following after him and I kind of don't want to do it. And so we saw it as like laziness. But acedia is different, it's more precise. It's not laziness. A person, can be, a person could be a workaholic and still have sloth, and still have acedia, because why? Because go back to the beginning of this video. Procrastination comes from not from doing nothing. It comes from I want to do everything except for the one thing I'm supposed to be doing. That's what the desert fathers and mothers called acedia. I mean, I'm, I'm supposed to be sitting here in the hut, but I have all these thoughts. They're like, maybe I should go back into the city and uh, serve the poor. But I'm supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be here, but maybe I should go and gather firewood. I'm supposed to be here, but maybe I should go and do something else. And the temptation is, I want to do anything but the one thing I'm supposed to be doing. Is that you right now? Because a lot of times in the Christian life, that's how we find ourselves. I'm doing all this stuff. I'm praying all these prayers. I'm doing all this activity. The question we have to ask is, what is it that I'm supposed to be doing? Because I could stop and, or pause and just pump the brakes for a second and say, am I doing all this stuff, all this extra activity in lieu of or in place of the one thing I should be doing? You know, at some point in our lives, every one of us gets to a season where we want to bolt, where we want to take off, we just want to run. That's called acedia. What the desert fathers and mothers said in that moment, in that moment, the remedy for acedia is God's love. I mean, I know it's, that might sound, that might seem, simplist, seem simplistic, but it's not. The remedy for acedia is the incarnation. The remedy for acedia is looking at Jesus Christ, who in his every step of his life is saying yes to his Father. Yes to this moment. Yes to, yes to dinner with his friends. 
Yes to dinner with sinners. Yes to traveling from this place to that place. Yes to this trial. Yes to the Father's will, even though he prayed that the cup would pass by him. Yes to his, even his, to his crucifixion and death. Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. The answer to Asidia is looking at Jesus and saying, okay, what held him to the cross, we know this, what held him to the cross was not the nails. What held him to the cross was his love. What is holding your life in place? What's helping you stay in your hut when you want to be doing anything except for the one thing you're supposed to be doing? It's not the nails, it's not bondage, it's love. The answer to Asidia is how can I love well in this moment, in this place, as Christ loved. Fight against the demon of Asidia. Fight against that, that, that the temptation, temptation to run off and abandon the people that you love the most, or called, you're called to love the most. Fight that temptation to run off and do anything but the one thing you're supposed to be doing. And do it with love. Fight with love. From all of us here at Ascension Presents, my name is Father Mike. God bless. What's up? What's up?